Arts Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPayEasy. Previously on the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015. I know you're trying to control your tail, but it's not easy. But uh, that's why I say that I'm not sure have you ready to step into the entertainment industry because it's not that easy. You need to compare yourself to girls behind you whose scores are way ahead of you. Even if I keep you this round, either of you, I don't know if you can chase up. We're drawing nearer and nearer to the end of beauty camp. Time is running out for the girls to prove to themselves and to the judges that they have what it takes to become the next Miss Universe Malaysia. Today the girls have a photo shoot challenge and the theme is beautiful in any way you are. The girls have on androgynous clothing but they still have to project feminine beauty in their photos. Today's photo shoot compared to the last one was a whole different thing. You know, the last one we were jumping, we had lots of energy, we had to know how to control our expressions while jumping. Um, today was more on um, the subtle side. We had to give that soft yet sexy look without being not being too fierce, yet working what we had on, you know. It was more natural kind of thing. It was a challenge as well. Um, but I think we all, all of us worked really hard for it and um, especially the group shot because you know working in a group is really tough you know you, everyone wants to stand out but um, in my team I had Vanessa, Gloria, Shalina and myself and I think we had a great communication the picture turned out well so fingers crossed let's hope the judges loves our picture as well. I think it was alright, like in a sense that I wasn't nervous because I'm quite, I'm very comfortable in my own skin. I, I don't usually wear that much makeup and I, I like my look. <laughs> so I, was, I think I did alright, but it's a bit hard to work with this new hairstyle because, you know, having to portray our natural self, um, this is not my most natural look, I would say. Um, it's not very me. <laughs> Because, you know, like this being the strong uh, dominant, I would say, dominant leading alpha woman. Yeah, alpha woman. I would describe myself as an alpha woman that I am. This is very um, pretentious, so it's not very me. About today for the witches, cold skins is, um, cold skins is more to about like, Beauty. How do you, you know, sell the product? But it's not, but we don't have product with us, right? We have to sell like our face expressions, our beautiness from ourselves. And today, makeup is very really simple and very really neat, clean. And the hair is like uh, look more glamorous and look more classy. And I do. Actually, I'm, I'm my person, my person, my person, I love like clean, neat things. And then, and then, you know, only can play with their face expressions more. So I really love the look and the shoots, you know, seductive. How do you seductive? <laughs> today for me was a little bit of a blur I, I think I could have done better like in the sense of putting in more expression in the picture stress for the photo shoot I think definitely because there's um, there's only eight of us left next round like two persons gonna get eliminated it's gonna be the top six and I, photo shoot is definitely not my strength so being stressed um, I think yeah I was thinking a lot about like how to pose and everything so I don't know if like that soft look came out of my eyes and stuff I think I look very nice actually but everyone here says I'm very dating so um, it's okay they keep saying I look like this uh, Chinese actress I don't know what's her name what Chong Kayan, whoever you are, apparently I look like you. Um, 
uh, but I, I like it. I actually, they told me, I actually had my hair down and then they told me they were going to bunny it up and I was like, no. But then now I think um, I look pretty okay. For my performance today, I think I did very well. I gave all my best, so I was very confident. Because I think a lady with a very minimal makeup looks the best. Uh, today's photo shoot challenge is quite interesting where you portray your own beauty of yourself. Um, it goes with the uh, motto of itself. You look beautiful in the way you are. So um, it it's something that I think that every woman should have in themselves. They should have confidence, you know, even though they don't have much um, makeup on their face, they still look good. And for me, I'm confident enough that I do look good even with makeup or without makeup. I was never in the bottom place. I would not, you know, uh, be in one. But I'm confident enough that I'm not going to be in the bottom place for the last elimination. And I'm confident enough that I will make it through the finals. Um, I think I could have done better because um, they said I was very stiff and they asked me to practice to try to be soft and I think I didn't deliver what they want so I think there's still a lot of room to improve. Beauty is from the inside and of course outside but inside is more important and beauty also consists of knowledge. Uh, if a person is beautiful but she is not that smart and I think it's useless and she has to be kind as well because if you are not kind and you are beautiful, I think that's useless. Yeah. Yes, I have. I think I can make it to top six because I think I did oh, overall was okay and I have never been into the bottom and so that's why I think I can make it to To this photo shoot, we had minimal makeup and also a very special theme, which was androgynous. Yeah, so we had really um, like stronger clothes on, but we had to pose with a very feminine and soft expression. And I think my performance today, I have to say, photo shoot is not my strongest um, point in this competition, but I gave my best. So I couldn't. I gave my best, and I hope the photo turns out good. Uh, the group shot. I had a glimpse of the group shot and uh, the four of us, we were there. I think that with, I actually like my makeup today and I think with this, I'm more confident. I feel like I'm more myself. So uh, the Carrie first told me to just stand out more because I was a little bit smaller in size compared to my members. So uh, I stood out more and I think I look good. I really don't know because at this point of the competition, every girl, every single one is, uh, I mean, everyone has strength and everyone wants to win the crown. So, you know, all you can do is you know, impress the judge, let them know that I'm trying harder and I have given my best. If I am what they're looking for, then I'll be in the next top six. But if I'm not what they're looking for, I've tried my best. Today we had to be androgynous, so that just means you can be female or male, in between, whatever it is. You portray your inner beauty regardless of how you're clothed on the outside. Um, I love what I'm wearing today and I tried my best and I gave it my all and we'll see what happens when the photo turns out. Um, I think when you ask me what inner beauty is, it's about being confident with what you have, it's about portraying your inner spirit and being comfortable whether you're wearing makeup, whether you're not wearing makeup, it's about being yourself, that's the most important part. In this particular competition so far, there's been a lot of contradicting comments from different judges, but I feel that instead of you know getting confused by what they're saying, you just take snippets and bits of what you feel is right for yourself and you just use it to improve yourself. Because at the end of the day, I guess they only mean well. They just want you to improve yourself, regardless of how contradicting their statements might be. It's up to you whether or not you want to take that 
comments that they give you and use it to improve yourself. So, so today is the Cold Skin Photo Shoot Challenge and their tagline is you can be beautiful any way you are. So it's really important for the girls to translate their understanding of beauty and femininity um, through whatever styling they're given. So the challenge this round is to be given a very strong androgynous look um, but very soft makeup. So to allow their natural beauty to pull through um, the styling and the strength of um, the styling it's itself is really, really important. So what we're trying to look for is the girls translating their beauty through the androgynous look. The next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPay Easy.